Compound angle formula application. Question 12. Show that cos x plus cos y equals to 2 cos x plus y by 2 times cos x minus y by 2. The second one which is similar to this is cos x minus cos y equals to minus 2 sin x plus y by 2 times sin x minus y by 2. Well, these are also the formulas which we call converting from sum to product, right? So let me write here sum to product for you to remember, right? And treat them as formulas. It is sum to product form. Sum to product. Right? So, so we call them sum to product since, you know, cos x plus y. The sum of cos x and cos y is converted to a product form, right, where we have combination of x plus y by 2 as an angle, right, or x minus y by 2. A very useful formula to prove identities and to solve trigonometric equations. Now, how do we really prove this formula? Well, we take the use of compound angle formulas and then prove this, right. Uh, you have already done this, that is cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b is equal to what? That is that is the base from where, you know, cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. And cos a minus b is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b, correct? Well, when you add these two, then the second terms cancel out, that is plus and minus sin a sin b. And what remains is two times cos a cos b. That's what remains, right? So I'd like you to do that on your own once again, just to get the practice, right? And then here what we do is we do a small substitution. And the substitution is let a equals to x plus y by 2, right? You see this is already in the product form. The only thing it is missing is the term inside, the angle, which is x plus y over 2. So let's substitute a as x plus y by 2 and b as x minus y by 2, correct? So if we do that, we get, let's say, a equals to x plus y by 2 and let's say b equals to x minus y by 2. So in that case, we do get 2 cos a cos b. Well, that's fine. But what happens to a plus b is what? Let's do a plus b. If I do a plus b, let me do it here, a plus b, then what will I get? I will get x plus y by 2 plus x minus y by 2, right? And that will lead to x plus x is 2x and y minus y is 0. So I get 2x by 2, which is equal to x. That means a plus b is x. Do you see that? Similarly, if I do a minus b, what will I get? So let me do a minus b here. Let's do it here, right? a minus b. a minus b will give us x plus y by 2 minus of x minus y by 2. Now, x minus x is 0 and y minus and minus makes it plus. So y plus y is 2y. So we get 2y by 2, which is y, right? So that means a minus b is y, right? So let me substitute these things back into our original equation. Let me call this equation 1, right? And this as 2. The values of x as a plus b and y as a minus b. So you, so what we are doing is for a minus b, we are substituting y. For a plus b, we are substituting x, right? And we already know we did so started with a equals to x plus y by 2 and b as x minus y by 2. So let's put these values back into our original equation. So cos a plus b, a plus b is x for us, so it becomes cos of x plus cos a minus b, a minus b is y for us, it cos of y equals to 2 times and instead of a, we started with x plus y by 2. 
we get 2 times cos of x plus y by 2 times cos of x minus y by 2 and we get our result right so that is the proof for this result now you have to do exactly the same substitution for similar questions whether they are in cos or in sine so in this question number 12 we are doing for cos one of them you do the next yourself so substitute x equals to a equals to x plus y by 2 and b equals to x minus y by 2 and figure out what is a plus b and a minus b and then get your result right so the starting point for the second will be cos a plus b minus cos a minus b which is equals to minus 2 times sine a sine b and then once you do the substitution you get your result right so these are actually formulas and they can be used in identities and in uh, many solving equations involving compound angles right so you can always use this as an application and I will refer to them as sum to product cos formulas right or sum to product sine formulas which is going to be which is in the other video right and then we'll use them in different identities I hope you get the proof this is a very important proof even from the test point of view thank you